I think um, we'll have the squash caldo, and we'll have um, oh the dragon's toes. Oh, I'll have the um cappuccino, please. Yeah, yeah. Morocco cappuccino. So one of the things I do is I bring a homemade tea. So for every meal throughout the day that I have out of my house, I have this really good dandelion tea. And dandelion is actually known to help stimulate the liver, the bile, and prepare the gut for digestion. So I make about 500 ml. And this will keep with me throughout the whole day. And so because we're having breakfast, I'll have a cup of this first. And keep this for a later time. Mmm. It's, um, so dandelion is a really good herb. It's actually considered a bitter herb. And we like to use bitter herbs to help stimulate liver detoxification. And so it gives you a real good feeling. Your body is already preparing itself to digest food by starting to secrete digestive enzymes in your mouth, in the saliva, in your gut as well. So it helps to ease the food through the digestive tract. And it, you know, it helps prevent constipation and other digestive issues that people might have. So I really like to have, and I do recommend people having a cup of dandelion tea right before each and every meal. So I finished having my tea and before breakfast, what I like to do is have a cappuccino. I'll tell you, my grandmother is the most Italian woman I've ever met in my life. And it's an Italian thing to have a cappuccino only before breakfast because it's actually considered like a meal on its own. It's just really frothy and it's just a really funny tip to give you. If you go to Italy, don't ever order a cappuccino after lunch or after breakfast. Um, before breakfast is fine though. And here at Cafe Mabini, they have this really lovely cafe or cappuccino with Baraco beans, which is our local Filipino uh, coffee beans. And you can actually see here on the edge that the coffee beans are like really strong. I mean, if you are Filipino and you live in the Philippines, you know that Baraco is really, really strong. And this is just really, really delightful. And I, 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 I love the cappuccino here too much. And it's so hot. I love my coffee hot. I hate it when it comes to me warm. <laughs> so this is their shaka bowl. And if you see inside, it has guava spinach and it has fresh seasonal fruits, granola and chia seeds. So I think it's blended together and it's, it's really delicious. Actually, it's super light and it has granola here at the top, actually pumpkin seeds, which are actually considered an herb, surprisingly. Chia seeds are really good for, you know, constipation again. It's funny we're talking about constipation while we're eating, but uh, they're really good with uh, omegas. They are really great for women's health and they're really important actually for women's health, chia seeds, because it helps to get fiber, it helps to get our stools moving out of our body, which helps to create a process where toxins are also removed from the body and that helps with any extra free floating hormones that might be float floating around the body. For myself, as I said in my previous video, I have endometriosis, so it's an estrogen dominant um, disorder. And so any time I can get chia seeds, anything with extra fiber, it's really important to incorporate into my diet because it helps to pull out any extra hormones that might be in my system. So for women, I highly recommend taking some chia seeds throughout the day. And this is a great way to do it. So oh, I love dragon fruit. So there's some dragon fruit in here. I'm going to take a bite out of it, actually. Mm. And this is actually my husband's. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wait, give me a second. I'll just get some water. It's 
So here we have the squash caldo, and this is kind of like a congee. It's a squash-based arroz caldo, and it has tender chicken slices. So it's red. It's usually not red or orange, yellow. It's usually not this color, but it's this color here because they use squash. Squash, again, is really great for women's health. It has lots of minerals, lots of vitamins. Let me get a spoon. Sweet soy. Then we have here the chili. Yeah, Singapore. Singaporean style chili. My husband's a chef. Ginger. <laughs> and ginger. So here we have ginger. Ginger is a warming herb. It helps to do a lot of things in the body. It can be um, good for anyone who is kind of has stagnant energy in their body, needs to warm up a little bit, especially during now during the rainy season. It's really good to have ginger in your diet. And I would just put a heaping on here. So normally, actually, in my house, my kids will have something like a congee or arroz caldo every other day for breakfast. It's really easy on the digestive system. And when we're out, I also like to order it a lot because it's just really easy on the digestive system. and doesn't keep you feeling, it doesn't make you feel like overly full, but you get really good sitting in your stomach. So it'll keep you good for the next meal. And uh, what do we have here on top? Onions. So we have some fried onions. Onions are really healthy for us. The onions will help with also digestion. They're a stimulating herb. They are kind of in the likes of a, a garlic. They could be antimicrobial, antiviral. They can also be uh, really good for um, cancer and antioxidants. So we have an egg here actually. So this is a soy egg. Um, I'll probably eat only one of these eggs in this dish. So I'm gonna try it now. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm a very, in TCM, which is Chinese medicine, I'm a very cold person. So I need a lot of warming herbs to help me kind of achieve that ultimate vitality. And I love chili. I love Szechuan peppers. Um, I love gingers. Ginger's a warming herb, as I said. And I love to eat it in my food rather than to have it as a tea. But you know, uh, both are okay. And this is really good. This is like a hearty breakfast, but not too fulling. Mm. Okay, so this here is their dragon toast. And their dragon toast is my favorite dish. It is an avocado toast and it has fruit hummus there. You see the pink one at the bottom there. It has a poached egg, an arugula salad, and it also has cilantro in here. So what's interesting about this meal is that usually if you you ordered something like this you would kind of go into this side i guess right away but interestingly enough you should probably go into this side because arugula and cilantro are considered bitter greens and bitter greens help to stimulate digestion so by eating this side first you will you will kind of signal your body to prepare it for digesting the more heavier side and the more heavier part of the meal or part of the part of the toast, which is the avocado, the eggs. So that's why they always say, you know, have some bitter greens before your meal because it does help stimulate digestion. It stimulates your liver and your bile, as I said before. And this is a perfectly, this to me would be like a perfectly, perfectly good, nutritious meal for breakfast or brunch, if you would. And so I'm gonna dig in because I love this. So much.